We begin with that man shot and killed while sitting inside of his car. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jennifer Reyna. And I'm Andy Sirota. It's a story we first broke this morning. Since then, we've learned what happened moments before that shooting. Channel 2's Courtney Gilmore joining us live along Collingsworth and Desham Street. And Courtney, witnesses say this man was beating a woman in front of children? Yes, uh, Andy, police tell us that attack happened here outside of the Shell gas station. He was attacking her, but then less than an hour later, officers say that he was confronted by an assault rifle and a shooter that they say took matters into his own hands. Now, after those shots were fired, that man crashed his car out into that fence. So we are actively working it. We have um, leads on the individuals involved. A domestic dispute. There's about 16 to 18 rounds fired. Say it. It really is. Leads to gunfire on the streets of Northeast Houston. HPD homicide detectives arrived at the 3100 block of Collingsworth near 59 and found a man shot and killed inside of this gray Dodge Neon. Officers say that same man can be seen on surveillance video outside of the Shell gas station across the street. According to witnesses, around 5 a.m., he attacked his girlfriend inside of his car, hitting and grabbing her around the neck. About 30 minutes later, it looks like the woman who was being beaten had some family members or relatives or friends that showed up on the scene, uh, removed her from the assailant's car. Two children were also pulled out of the car, but after the driver took off, police say another man pulled out an assault rifle and started shooting. And it struck the male driver a couple times in the back. Detectives tell us there may have been a history of violence in their relationship. Residents say the outcome today just adds to the distress of an already painful situation. We all human. We all bleed the same. We all come from God, you know what I'm saying? And for everybody to keep killing each other and taking people's lives, man, it's, it's sad. Well, we don't know the ages of the children involved, but police say the man who was shot was in his late 20s to 30s. His identity has not yet been released. For now, reporting live in Northeast Houston, I'm Courtney Gilmore, KPRC Channel 2 News.